Yo! Today's video, I am using an underrated perk. I, I mean, I didn't find. I mean, obviously everyone knows about it. But it's parental guidance. Now, I call it underrated because I believe, last time I checked, the pick rate was like well below 0.5%. And it's actually kind of a good perk. So for those of you who don't know what it does, anytime you stun the killer, so this means obviously pallet stunning, uh, if you save a teammate from the killer's grasp by any means, so whether it's flashbang, pallet save, or blind, that's a stun, and head oning. I'm not sure if there's anything else. If y'all know something else, tell me. But after you do this, for seven seconds, your scratch marks, pools of blood, and grunts of paint are all hidden. So, obviously that's good. You gotta stun the killer. Now, to pair with this, I brought a beamer. Because if we stun the killer, we want to blind them. And then we can run without them seeing. But I also paired it with light-footed. Light-footed, whenever you're healthy, you can't be injured. Your running footsteps are silent. Now, a lot of good killers, if you can't, like, stun them and then run through them. Because they'll they'll hear it. But with light-footed, they can't. Let me show you right now before you give it up. So, essentially, the goal of what we want to do was stun the killer, blind them, run right past them. Because we would have no footsteps out nor scratch marks and they wouldn't find us. Well, that's pretty much the uh, video today. I just wanted to make a quick little intro. And I do want to say, when it comes to edits, this video's got less edits than a lot of my videos do because I'm going to try to not do so many edits because I have been noticing that a lot of my videos, my video is literally just an edit. <laughs> so this one's, you know, minimal. I've got a lot more talking in it, a, a lot more yapping, like especially the second game. Forgive me. But yeah, um, still yet, just like any of my other videos. I hope y'all enjoy it. And uh, yeah. Okay, you know what they say. Game two is always the lucky try and luckily we got mr clean on our team uh oh rb disappeared real quick could be ghostface is it legion or death slinger maybe who who who, who makes you mend off rip oh skull merchant maybe oh no okay no that's that okay it's legion god am, you know what a horrible fate knowing you're either going against legion or skull merchant like that's just there's only the only thing worse than that is skull merchant or nurse at least it'll be a quick game though now the problem with legion is while in his power sun is gonna respect every little thing we pop this gen we blind her. We run past her because we have life footed and we didn't have scratch marks at first. And we keep on going. Oh, where did she completely lose? Okay, she just now found out where I went. Okay. So right there, because I had to stun her, then blind her, then blind her a second time and then run. Instead of having seven seconds to run, I only had roughly like uh, two seconds to run with no scratch marks. But that's because I wanted to run through her. And because if I would have kept running past her with parental guidance, I mean, it's a long hallway. She would have saw me regardless. But certain loops, like you don't have to wait to run through them like I just did. You could just straight up blind them and run away in a direction and you're going to lose them. I, I hope that makes sense. <laughs> I think Nancy just cooked her. Oh. Probably about to activate her ability, I can only assume. Shorty literally lost me. I, I went around a telephone booth, and she still kept hugging the fence. I went around the telephone booth! Come. Nice. And with me being healed, I'll probably have life put it back up, which is good. But it sucks because it's a legion who can injure me super easily. Alright, let's hope she follows me. Oh god. Would've been cool. Almost worked. It almost worked. Uh, I hate legions. They're so weird. Legions are weird. Knights are weird, but skull merchants are pedophiles. <laughs> Actually, cap doctors are. There's a gin here. Nice. We'll work on it. Man, life footed not working while you're injured uh, actually makes sense. But it should work while you're injured. So then that way people would like to pair it with Iron Will because you know what I'm saying. Give it more synergy or something. I, I don't know. Now, because I'm doing this for a video, you best believe if she chasing me around Shaq, I'm wasting the pallet. I'm getting that parental guidance value. I'm going to show y'all what that junk is about. You hear me? Ooh, she went Fuck around. you, kid. You're adopted. <laughs> Do that. We just run this way. We have no grunts of pain. Let's just hope she doesn't find us. Let's just start crouching away. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shorty lost us. Oh, yeah. Dub. All right. Now we're going to run. Let's go. Hop down here. Oh, this pallet's been wasted already? What? Okay. Well, that's that's whatever. So that's twice as worked. I, like, it, it's such a nice perk. It really is. The hard part of it, believe it or not, is getting the stun. Uh, okay. Well, that doesn't make sense because that's literally what the perk is. What I mean is you would think, oh, just done him with a pallet? Oh, that's easy. No. No, it's not. Not at all. Killers respect pallets so much unless they have spirit theory enduring or they're kind of new to the game. Or like, it's just pain res too. Oh my god. Now, what's weird to me, like, like I'll respect pallets, but if it's Killer Shack or a God Pallet, I run through that hoe. Because they'll either respect it, I get a hit, or I make them throw it. Better come here to us. Honestly, hope she comes down these stairs right here in front of me. Dub. Okay. I don't have the window there. 
Thank God. We got this little handy dandy window right here. Should I go around? Stupid. Alright, we go here. Stunner. Blinder. Run this way. We're gonna run back down here. She'll probably lose this for a second. Worst case, she comes back. She lost this? Dude, this perk. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh my gosh, I actually enjoy it whenever you like stun killers and it works. All right, back on our gen. They got a gen close. I only assume short is coming back. Help me! Oh, what? Okay. I do think we're dead here. I wish I had that front window over there. That'd be so amazing. Oh, I have this one. I don't even notice that one. I mean, it's kind of a trash one, but hey, that's still helpful. Pain rest popped. Oh, they have that gen close. So I have this one down here, which she's probably going to kick with pop. Oh, Nancy has a gen over there too. Oh, yes, sir. Dope. All right, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I've, I've had an idea, right, while I'm hanging. But I actually want to make a straight up second channel. Not now, but sometime in the future where I play other games. Like, not just DVD. Like, it'll still be edited videos and funny videos. It's not gonna be raw gameplay like some weirdos like. I'm kidding. You're not a weirdo if you like that. But I definitely question the fact that you like that stuff. No raw footage is good unless it's on Starva. But yeah, I want to basically do that. Because I can play, you know, there's a lot of other games I play that I just don't post. Like, Overwatch, Valorant, which I don't play anymore, actually. It sucks ball. Mortal Kombat fighting games, Street Fighter, stuff like that. Like, I, I don't know. I would love to post other stuff. Even other asymmetrical horror games like TCM. I haven't played in a minute, but I would like to play it again. Also, not to mention another uh, game. Right, we're going to throw her off right here and go out here first. Oh my god, she's so quick. We're definitely dead here. But we're all the way in the back of the map, and she's got no skirt hook. But yeah, new Killer Clowns from Outer Space is going to be coming out this summer, too. I can make videos on it on the second channel. Because I do want to keep this channel strictly for DVD. Like, straight up. Yeah, that's just, that's just something. So just a little off-topic thing, you know what I'm saying? I was locked in, and talking about that got me out the mood, so she killed me. But now, now I'm locked in. Go! Stop walking! She did she chase Nancy? Oh, we gotta go save Nancy. They're gonna pop that gin. That's fine. I guess Nancy had sprint burst, bro. No other reason she should be walking like that. Yep, Nancy. Oh, God. You should respect this in, like, a million years. The fitness grand pacer. You swing now. Run right past her. Oh, dang. Sorry, Brody. Oh, don't be blood ward. I'm gonna be pissed. GG. I believe they'll get out. They're both uh, healthy. I'm pretty sure so. Yeah, I'll be giving up but DVD today is just not it, man. It's just get on my nerves. And like it's actually not solo queue teammates for once. Although the solo queue teammates are typically, you know, they're doing the same thing over and over. By the way, she's in chase already. It's mostly killers. Like I hate playing bad killers. Cause like you'll like imagine you know like a secret spot, right? That is very well known amongst very good players, right? And you go get the bad killer who doesn't know about it. Them not knowing about it helps them and cucks you. Like I can't explain what I'm trying to say, but playing really bad killers is worse than playing super nerdy ones. Good ones, but the not sweaty ones. I don't know. I, I don't even know how to explain it. See, what, they got me in my, my feels right now. And he's about to pop pain res. It's going to make me more irritated. Like, it's just pain res pop, pain res pop, pain res pop. Oh, pain res grip embrace. Nice. But yeah, they've just been weird. I, I don't know, man. I can't explain. Who's the killer? And he's giving up. Like, why the f this is what I'm talking about all day, bro. People just giving up. It's ridiculous. And when you do finally have a good game with teammates, I was playing on Larry's earlier versus Doctor, who sit us there, by the way. We had two get out, and he texted said GG easy. So all I said, I was like, oh, well, two kills ain't, and I got out, by the way. I was like, oh, two kills ain't, you know, a win. GG easy, GG easy. You're entitled for saying that. How am I entitled for saying two kills isn't a win? That's just the truth. Like, two kills is not a win. And if you think so, you're, you're stupid. If, you, if it's a 2K, survivors nor killers win this really is stalemate bro i don't i don't get people man he was a doctor too so as you know doctors they are pedophiles really nigga oh my gosh maybe that actually just worked if he has nowhere to hide i'm pissed oh no he might check it back here because there's nowhere else i could have gone nigga what he's so confused all this and we're still not gonna win the game because it's a 3v1 that's fire dude
Wow, it worked. Okay. I've had so many teammates giving up, killer sweating their balls off, which this guy, I'm going to take it. He's not going to sweat this game right now because it's a 3v1. So even if we win, it's not going to feel rewarding. I don't know. They got to do something. In my opinion, do y'all remember like, if you did play back then when the ranks ranked 20 to 1? That was, t well, in my experience, the best. Like, no MMR, it was actually, if you were good, you want to get us good killers. You were bad and new, you want to get us bad new killers. It was amazing. The only kind of troublesome I had with that was when you were kind of in the medium tier, you'd sometimes randomly okay it wasn't it wasn't often but you'd go against either really bad people resulting in you cooking regardless of the side or you go against really try hard people hey you like the laura croft outfit though yes sir laura croft dude why is laura croft not coming to dvd that'd be so he oh my gosh she actually just got cooked Thalia, Thalia, no come to this gym what are you go oh she's going to that gym okay good good good, good. okay this boy's definitely not try harding there's no way because he would have i feel like he'd kill everyone right now right like i don't know i think they need to do like a whole fat massive overhaul you know what i'm saying 30 survivor perks 30 killer perks grab some of the most best ones so pain rest pop killer's crutch adrenaline sprint burst dead hard whatever and then grab some of the worst ones so what's not used on killer like dancing tactics i'm not gonna lie fix that make it do something else uh survivor side i mean i where do i begin with perks that suck like like red hair like red hearing for zarina whatever it's called dude what the, like what even is that like perks like that they just suck like fix them instead like right now when you load to a game adrenaline sprint burst you know that's gonna be in the game oh pain rest pop you can literally put your family's life on it i'm just yapping the killer's not chasing me so i can't get oh here's a power here so if he does chase us hopefully i can get a stun wouldn't that be super sick i think that'd be super cool Okay, we have behind this tree. He might think we're cheating. Did that work again? He actually might think we're cheating. Now, if he does come back here, we have another pallet. We got two, actually. This time, I might hop in the locker. Oh, God. Alright, now we don't have we have scratch marks with Bill Peer. Probably still looking for us somewhere. Oh, he got onto her. Okay. I can't open the gate right now. He's here. Oh sh Well, I'm dead. I had no idea it was over there. Well, we got to work three times, so I mean, we got two out. GG. TV super average Dave. Well, GG. 